by definition, a serial killer is a loner. Dennis Nielsen is charged with murdering Kenneth Ockenden. Some of them may have friends. Martin Duffy. Some of them can get married. William Sutherland. Have families. Malcolm Barlow. But emotionally, they're always alone. John Howlett. They may appear normal, but they're not normal. And Stephen Sinclair. They may appear to love, but they can't love. On various unknown dates. They may appear to be a great and loyal friend, but they're incapable of friendship. Between December 1979 and February of this year. So when we look at the surface of their lives, normality is merely an appearance. The fact is much darker. Dennis Nielsen targeted young homosexual men. I fell asleep, I woke up and he was strangling me. It's the need of the psychopath to have control, to have complete control over someone else's life and someone else's behavior. He was trying to drown me. Nielsen was a man who stalked victims. Police said, are we talking about one body or two? Nielsen said, 16. He would ply his victims with drugs and alcohol to make them sedated. He drowned them, but he kept the body. Living with them under the floorboards for months at a time. It became an obsession for him. Putting people's entrails in the garden for the neighbors' cats and dogs. The horror of murder and cannibalism. Boiling severed heads in a cooking pot. This is a fully grown man who's working as a clerk in a job centre who goes home in the evening to sit with a dead body, like a friend.